Well, Bally Knows are always famous for, for holding a great pint of pint back in, in Boone today, you know, when Matty Mulcahy was alive. And next thing, you know, they just thought that uh, it, it needed a bit of freshening up and uh, they came up with the idea of having a male's final. And uh, it, it grew from there and, uh, you know, it got popularity and, my God, it, it is, everybody speaks about it today all over Ireland, really, you know. Last year was won by a, a man from the north, Noel Kelly trainer, came all the way down. He actually stayed here the night before. And, uh, you know, she was a very, very worthy winner. And uh, it, that'll just tell you they come from all over Ireland to take part in this race. We were pretty confident with Green Flag on the day. She was a very easy winner. She was pretty promising for uh, Jim Brown, who bred her and uh, Jim was a good patron of mine and uh, she won down in Skibbereen as well and uh, uh, owned Gallagher Roller as well. I think James Sheehan had ridden her previous to that. She went on then to the track, she won the bumper down in Tipperary, she won a beginner's chase down in Charlie Swan Roller down in, uh, in Killarney and we ran her in the Galway Plate I think a year after that. Ran very well the, and on that occasion Shea Barry rode her and uh, I pulled her out two days later on the O'Malley chase on the Friday and she easily won the O'Malley chase on the Friday. She was a hell of a mare and she's a great brood mare now, you know. I, I like to support it as best I can and I definitely like, I love to win it if I can. But it's always competitive, there's some great trainers as you know. But they come from all over Ireland left to have the ammunition, but you need look on the day. And uh, you know, it's, it, it creates a great atmosphere and long may it continue, you know. <laughs>